hi guys you're welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking at how to use mapflow plugin to extract polygons on a raster image automatically on QGIS without dictizing the buildings or the polygons in your study area manually to start you can't use any raster image for this analysis and in this video we are using OpenStreetMap to carry out this analysis to get your OpenStreetMap you come to web come to quick map service then you come to uh, OpenStreetMap click on OpenStreetMap standard all right I've opened my street map already the second step is to define the steady area why do you want to extract the polygons or which area are you carrying out this analysis so for instance this is an open street map so you pick an area you look at a street or your steady area where you want to carry out this polygon extraction or building extraction you have a straight a steady area you want to know the polygons or the number of polygons that buildings that that are in your steady area and to do it we have uh, many ways of doing that you can create a shape file dictizing one building after the other but in this video we want to use map info to generate the polygons or the buildings automatically without doing it manually all right to get your map flow if you don't have the plugin you come to plugins go to manage and install plugins a pop-up window will appear you go to all then you tap uh, you type here the search uh, map flow because I have it already if you don't have it it will give you the chance to install it all right uh, to start first of all you have to define the steady area as I said earlier on to do it you create a shape file shape file you go to where you want to save your shape file so for me you give a name to the shape file I want my shape file to be uh, buildings dot shape file buildings dot shape file that's the name of my shape file here you give the geometry type to polygon select polygon as your geometry type the coordinate system you select wgs pseudo makita then that is all you you click ok here this is our building shape file on our layer panel go to properties then you select outer line because we don't want the color to cover our steady area now we have our shape file ready you click on the the, uh, the shape file or your layer shape file layer go to toggle editing add polygons then you create your steady area so we are dictizing our steady area okay right click and then you click ok all right now we have defined our steady area we want to use map info to extract the polygons or the buildings that are inside this steady area we defined all right you come to map info this map info click on map info okay you give a name to the polygons you are coming to extract and me mine will be uh, buildings uh, buildings all right this is the area our steady area that's the, the, the shape file we created okay here we have data source data source uh, imagery search uh, ArcGIS world imagery and the map map box you pick map box here the ai model you pick we select 
uh, you can, if it is root you are coming to do, if it is building, forest, construction size, you can use it. But our focus in this video is buildings. So we take buildings and start processing. This process will take uh, some time, some minutes to process. About a minute, yeah, <coughs> or less. It's processing the system. Mapflow is generating the polygons or the buildings in our study area. We wait for some time for it to complete. We will look at how simple it is to generate polygons or buildings in an area without digitizing manually. If you have a drone image, you can as well use it. If you have a satellite image, you can use, okay. Seeing that our process is done, we double click here to see our results. All right, we close it. You see, these are the polygons in the area. The system have generated everything automatically. So we close the open street map, then we close the building raster. Then you see, these are the polygons we have in our steady area. These are all the buildings we have in the steady area. So you can imagine if you are going to digitize one building after one after the other in our steady area it will take you long time to do but with the help of map info plugin we can do this within a second and i i i i think this method it also helps so uh, if if this video is good or interesting you can uh, like or comment give your comment your thoughts under the comment section subscribe to my channel for uh, videos like this thank you very much for spending your time in this video